<laughs> always start with basically. I've been reading this. The National Geographic. And it's got information about new gospels that were discovered and sort of hidden away. And it's basically, they call it the Judas Scrolls. And it really does throw some light on the whole interesting subject. Because as you may know, I see Jesus as a magic mushroom. That they would partake of the flesh of Jesus and reach the kingdom of heaven. And the whole Christianity thing and all the things that Jesus preaches about obviously didn't come from a man called Jesus. They came from men and women that were partaking of the flesh of the magic mushroom, otherwise known as Jesus. Now, where did they get the idea that it was a magic mushroom? And how did they know that the Old Testament was telling us allegorically all about nature, emotions, psychedelics, and all sorts of other drugs. We know that John Allegro deciphered the Dead Sea Scrolls um, that were discovered in 1945, and his findings were that the Jesus was a mushroom theory. Now, I always wondered why did they write allegorically about Jesus, the mushroom. Why didn't they just come out with it and say, look, hey, look, we all eat mushrooms and it's brilliant and it's, you know, like, um, I don't know if you know any Don Juan and the Yaki in Indians and the, the way of knowledge. The way of knowledge and the way of the warrior and that sort of way of life was also involved in partaking of magic mushrooms and psychedelics and they have the same they have the same responses from from the Christians that were partaking and from the Indians they had the same knowledge even though they never met each other but they were taking of the same stuff the Jewish religion was happening at the very beginning and they were the ones that had got like the Sumerian information that magic mushrooms were part of a sacred understanding of the inner self and then as time went on those Jews they split into Jews and Gentiles and Orthodox Jews and there were lots of little offshoots and this is where the whole Judas Gospel begins to get interesting because they're saying in the Judas Gospel that Jesus looked at Judas as one of the beloved disciples, the beloved disciple, the one that actually understood Jesus. So we're not talking about the man, we're talking about a nation, i.e. the Jews that had carried on the partaking of the flesh, right? They're the people that are being talked about as Judas. Jesus the mushroom felt that Judas, the Jewish people that were partaking, understood him or the mushroom better than all the other people. But they, at the beginning, their, their belief in the mushroom was a secret and it was written in an allegorical way, like in the Old Testament and then the Jewish people became Orthodox and that was their religion an Orthodox Jew 
which is not the same as those Jews that went off, got to know the Assanians and, and other people, and they told their story. And that's why it's a Judas, you see, because Judas sold his story, like, you know, to the authorities about Jesus. And Jesus wanted Judas to do that. Now, again, it's allegorical. The mushroom wanted the Jews to pass this information on in an allegorical way so that it would be understood and it would live on. And there's some great quotes in here. Right. This is a passage where Jesus is explaining to the disciples that they are on the wrong track. So what we're saying is like the Orthodox Jews were on the wrong track for the magic mushroom and spreading a warrior's path. It's all very interesting because you've got to remember to take it from the allegorical actual story, i.e. the man Judas, who never existed, because Judas the man is actually talking about the nation of people that did understand the mushroom more than anybody else. And the mushroom told them to pass it on in this secret, allegorical way. There's a passage in here where that it's saying they're having a go at the old god for misleading them. This is just a revelation. So Judas is actually the Jews. And now, I don't know how the Jews feel about being called Judas because Judas is seen in a bad light. But in actual fact, that's only by like the media and the people that can't decipher what's being said. If you know the code to this codex, then you can actually translate it and understand it a lot better. It is a historical truth. And it is what was historically going on. But at the, the heart of people, rather than in a media sense. So the Jewish people were, the, were Judas and they understood the magic mushroom more than anyone. And that's why they took the magic mushroom allegorical stories to the authorities. Because that's what the mushroom was telling them to do. So no one died, no one, you know, got strung up to a cross. The cross was just the shape of Jesus himself, the actual mushroom. And it wasn't even a himself, it was a itself, and it because these early Gnostics that were writing these gospels, like the Gospel of Judas, the Gospel of Thomas, supposedly Jesus' brother, it just means like if it's Jesus' brother, it's gotta be some psychedelic that is that you partake of, similar to Jesus, from the same family, i.e. the mushroom. But there are, must be people out there who can understand what I'm saying. This is a revelation that Judas was possibly the Jews. He didn't betray him. Jesus asked Judas to take him to the authorities. So the magic mushroom told those Jewish sects to take this to the Greeks and the Romans and get it out there.